Hi guys, this is Sal with Moon Valley Nurseries, and today we're gonna to give you a pro tip on how to deal with all the caterpillars that we're seeing a lot of customers call in and bring little cuttings in and, and bring us samples of. And what we're seeing a lot of right now, guys, is every year in the monsoon, we see the same pest come up. But in the monsoon season, we see out of Northern Mexico and Southern Arizona blow into the deserts here, we see a caterpillar come. They, they come as a moth, of course, become a caterpillar later as they, they regrow and redevelop. But we're seeing these caterpillars living in our deserts right now. So we're seeing them on native plants and of course they're getting into our landscape. We're seeing them on all the different Tacoma species, so like your yellow bells and orange jubilees and the sparkies and that. We're seeing them getting into our Texas mountain laurel trees, getting into grapevines and our bougainvilleas. So we've got literally thousands of those plants, probably millions of those plants all over the valley. We're seeing folks come in and they're not quite sure what's getting on there. The telltale signs when you see this on your plant, there's gonna be a little bit of a, a it's called skeletonized leaf. So the leaf itself will have a whole lot of green to it, or in some cases, none. The leaf will usually be white or gray, and you'll see nothing but looks like the little veins, the little structure of the leaf left. You're gonna see that, that's a telltale sign. Another thing we see is the, the actual droppings from the caterpillar. It looks little black dots all over the leaf. It is not the bug, that's actually the droppings from the caterpillar. And then last but not least, you see these little tiny, short, super skinny caterpillars that are kind of crawling around your plant. So if you see any of those three, there's a couple ways to get rid of it. The first thing you can do if you're just seeing it starting is you can cut it out. You can literally take your pruners, your loppers, and cut those areas out, throw them into a bag, seal it, throw it in the trash, and get rid of it. You can remove them manually that way, but you gotta catch it early. If you're seeing them kind of throughout the overall plant, it's better to start using some sort of a, kind of a final solution, if you will, and I'll go through those with you guys so you kind of know what you can come find at any one of our nurseries and have one of our nursery pros show you how to take care of this. So one of my favorite ways to explain this, BT is a very common product. The, the Bacillus thuringiensis was what BT stands for. We're gonna have it on three or four different labels. It comes in a powder form and it comes in a liquid form. The powder you can sprinkle and dust over the top. The liquid you need to use one of these style sprayers to spray it into your plants. So you can use a hose end, like a pre-mix, or you can use a, a pump sprayer and spray it around your yard. You really need to saturate the plant, douse the whole thing so it's dripping wet, and this is basically, guys, the bacteria that the bug will continue to eat over the course of the next week or two, and as it gets enough of this bacteria in the system, it'll kill it that way. So it's gonna do more damage in the long run while it slowly kills the, the plant. But it's very, very safe for household everything, really, for us, for our pets, for our kids. So a lot of our clients really like to use that. It just takes a little longer for it to work. If you don't wanna wait so long, or if you're seeing a really serious problem with it in your, your house, I recommend going to a stronger pesticide Malphion will work. It'll kill most pests around your house as well, but it'll certainly work. It has a stronger odor, but it, it definitely works for you. Uh, we've got Carbrol, which comes at, Carbrol is in this brand here is seven, but Car Carbrol is an active ingredient. That is great on all types of chewing insects. So that'll definitely get rid of it for you. Um, you're gonna have Spinosad. Spinosad is another good one for those chewing insects. You'll even see the caterpillar right here on this label. That's another chemical that basically kills a lot sooner. And then triple action. Triple action is an oil called neem oil. It'll coat the plant. All these things you really want to douse and coat the plant on. It'll coat the plant. It'll kill it a little sooner than this will in most cases. And then last but not least, I, I love this explanation. If you guys were to get some sort of an infection, a doctor might tell you to put a, a cream on it and then take a pill, take an antibiotic. These are all the creams, but this is really your antibiotic. So as long as it's not something edible, as long as it's not something you're about to eat, then you can use this, it's got imidacloprid in it, which is the active ingredient. It comes in a liquid and a couple forms of granular here. When you put that into the plant, it sucks up in the roots and it puts the poison or pesticide into the leaves, into the roots. So you're able to, whenever they munch on it, they take a bite out of it, it has pesticide in it, it'll kill them that way. And then you can also spray them and soak them and get this stuff on it as well. So it's kind of taken care of it both ways. All of the labels here, guys, have the instructions on how much to mix with how much water. It's very easy to use. It's something you can apply yourself. A lot of landscapers don't know what it is. They'll misdiagnose it or they just flat out don't know. So if you come into the nursery, visit one of the nursery pros here. We'll be glad to give you guys a quick education and get you set up to take care of your problems in your yard.